What's up, YouTubers? It's your old buddy, Hardworker12, with a brand new 2020 Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition in geyser blue. Apparently, it took Subaru five years to develop this color, and only Subaru would bother to spend five years on a blue and have it come out looking blue. I've also heard this is World Rally Blue without the metallic flake in the paint. That might be true, but whatever it is, this is a super cool car. It's an Outback with a little bit of extra ground clearance for better off-roading and some off-road tires and stuff. So we're gonna take a look at uh, some of the differences real quick on the new Wilderness Edition 2022 Outback. So the first difference we'll look at are the wheels and tires. These are actually 17 inch wheels. So you have a higher profile tire, which is better for off-roading. And I believe this is the first Outback to come with kind of dedicated all-terrain tires from the factory. These are Yokohama Geolander all-terrain tires. They're all mud and snow rated normally, but these are all-terrain. They are sized in 225, 65, 17. So those are the standard wheels and tires on the Outback Wilderness Edition. Another interesting difference would be the roof rails. This is the first Outback in over a decade that doesn't have the retractable crossbars. It has the kind of dedicated fixed roof rails that you get on most SUVs. And then you have some very well-marked tie-down points as well for all of your roof tent hauling needs. We have some more bronze accents on the front and the fog lights are also unique to this particular car. I'll get a shot of those fog lights when they're on and put that in the video as well. And on the front end, we have a black stripe because that is very helpful when you're off-roading in your new Outback Wilderness Edition. In the rear cargo area, we have kind of some extra rubber bits there covering the wheel wells to make things a little more durable back here. And you do have, much like the Onyx Edition, a full-size spare tire uh, on a real rim that matches the other one. So there's the full-size spare on a wheel. And of course we have tow hooks, also very clearly marked in bronze. And one thing Subaru won't let you forget if you buy one of these cars is that it is a wilderness. We have another wilderness logo here on the driver's door. And if we open the door, we have some wilderness on a little tag on the inside of the door. You get kind of some contrasted gold bronze stitching to go with it. The upholstery is unique to the wilderness package. Uh, they're all gonna have this kind of black interior. It's, it's a vinyl upholstery and it feels kind of like normal vinyl there. And then this has kind of got like a little octagonal checkered pattern thing in it. And of course, embossed into your back headrest, you do have the Wilderness logo there as well. And we have some bronze accents on our steering wheel and our shift knob and some more bronze stitching on the dash and another Wilderness tag on the passenger door. On the touch screen at the top, we have the same kind of dual mode X mode that you would get on like an Onyx edition. So you have the normal mode, the snow and dirt mode, and the deep snow and mud mode. But they did manage to change the little icon of the Outback to be a wilderness edition with the higher ground clearance and the different wheels and the bronze accents. So there you go. You'll know that you're in your wilderness Outback when you are using your X mode. And also like the Onyx Edition and the touring models, we do have the front view camera as well. So that's showing what's in front of me. That could be very handy when you're off-roading, trying to avoid obstacles that you're driving over. There are the lovely 
Gatling gun style LED fog lights on the front of the wilderness. I am a fan of those. And of course, another wilderness logo on the passenger's door. So that's just a quick view at kind of the differences and what the wilderness has. This is, this car is actually already pre-sold. Somebody has reserved it, put a deposit on it. So I am not going to be driving this car, um, but I probably will do a full review of a wilderness edition Outback when the cars are a little bit more available. But there's a wilderness. Just came off the truck today. It'll probably be sold by tonight or tomorrow. Beautiful car. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like and subscribe and have yourself a wonderful day. Bye-bye.